Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? You'll remember when Mickey Loomis uh, met with the media prior to the start of training camp, he was talking about offensive line and veteran offensive linemen and point blank said on the record that it's not a tar veteran offensive line, not a target at this point. He threw in the caveat that if we feel like someone comes available that could help us, we would take the, you know, the, the chance and, and sign, but it's not a target at this point. And then the Saints in the last two days have added three offensive linemen. We'll start Saturday. The Saints uh, signed tackle Chandler Brewer and waived uh, undrafted free agent guard uh, Nuri Nuili. Uh, excuse me, Nuili. I uh, screwed it up anyway. He was an undrafted free agent out of Nebraska. He got waived. So let's talk about Brewer. Brewer was out there uh, Saturday in practice wearing 73. Six foot six. 320 pounds, originally signed by the Los Angeles Rams as an undrafted free agent out of Middle Tennessee State back in 2019. In his career, 14 regular season game appearances, four starts, all at right guard with Los Angeles, uh, and then with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, spent time there in, in 2023, his first season uh, and only season uh, there. At Middle Tennessee State, four-year letterman, all-conference USA first team, had a great career, and uh, again, was signed by the Rams. So now he's with the Saints. It's interesting that he's played all of his games at right guard. The Saints have him listed as a tackle and had him repping there uh, as well Saturday when he was out at practice. Now, you fast forward uh, to Sunday evening and the Saints add two more offensive uh, linemen and really just made a whole host of, uh, of moves along the offensive line. So they sign guard Tremaine Ankrum and tackle Jesse Davis. They place Justin Heron tackle on injured reserve. That ends his season. So Justin Heron now out for the year, unfortunately. And then they waived uh, lineman Mark Evans the second. Those are your corresponding moves. Ankrum and Davis are added to the 90-man roster. You look at Ankrum. Let's take him first. Also began his career with the Los Angeles Rams. He was a reserve guard. Did play in 31 games uh, with one start. Missed all of 2021 due to injury and scarcely saw offensive snaps really until 2023. So that's when the bulk of those 31 games happened were last season. Played 96 snaps on offense and then an additional 80 on special teams. Was signed in free agency by the Seattle Seahawks uh, in the offseason, a one-year deal. But it just, it kind of became increasingly unlikely for him to make that team just with other moves that the Seahawks uh, were making. They moved on uh, from both their starting guards, uh, Damian Lewis, of course, former LSU Tiger, Phil Haynes, as well as their center. So it looked like he was going to, you know, be in line to compete at left guard. But then they go and sign veteran Lakin Tomlinson. Then they, uh, it, it, who was going to compete for the left guard spot. And then they actually just let Ankrum go prior to training camp uh, started after they, after they signed uh, El Manning. So, you know, two moves, that does leave a little bit to be desired uh, maybe with him coming in, and it, it raises a question, okay, what can Tremaine Ankrum actually do for the New Orleans Saints? Now, again, the caveat here, when you're especially talking about guard, is the Nick Saldaveri injury from earlier in the day on, on Monday at training camp. If uh, you weren't with us earlier, Nick Saldaveri left training camp early on Monday with uh, being accompanied, I should say, by athletic trainers. He was leaving under his own power, but was walking gingerly. Dennis Allen deemed it a calf injury uh, after practice. He has a calf. So we'll see what happens uh, with Sal DeVere going forward. But left guard is one of the major spots on your line where you're looking. It had really been Sal DeVere and, and Lucas Patrick taking the reps there. Uh, but you look at a guy like Ankrum, who the Seahawks at one point thought, okay, can come in and compete for a left guard spot. Can he do the same with the New Orleans Saints? At, we'll see. Again, I'll point out the Seahawks quickly moved on from that idea. So what can you get out of Ankrum? That remains to be seen for the Saints. Tackle Jesse Davis. Bit of a journeyman. Signed by the Seahawks uh, as an undrafted free agent back in 2015. Played in 95 games, 72 starts at left guard, left tackle, right guard, and right tackle. He's played every position except center uh, for the Miami Dolphins in 2017-2018. 
21, spent time with the Steelers at tackle in 2022, and most recently was with the San Francisco 49ers in 2023. Now with the uh, New Orleans Saints, I do believe as well, uh, uh, before coming to the Saints, uh, Vikings. You love the versatility, obviously, from a guy like Jesse Davis. That, I mean, when you're the Saints and you're looking for somebody at three positions along the offensive line, right tackle, uh, left guard, and potentially right guard or uh, left tackle, depending on how it works out with Talia Sefuonga, a guy like Jesse Davis who is that versatile is just a, is a major asset. Now, look. You've added a lot of bodies, and you're just looking for somebody to stick. And as we talked about with Tremaine Ankrum, it's very possible that both Ankrum and Davis and Brewer, for that matter, are just that, bodies, to help you get through camp. You're at 90 right now, and that's going to continue to get trimmed down. You have about two weeks until the Saints you know, tee it up and kick it off for preseason. So you have opportunities to, to go forward with that, and then you'll, you'll get to your, into, your, into your cuts. But I love the moves because when I heard Mickey Loomis say prior to camp to bring this full circle that it wasn't a target anymore, that just was a total head scratcher to me. Because when you have as much uncertainty as you do at that position, it should always be a target. Like 100% until you, and that's not even just for camp. Even when you settle on your five, you better be sure of the backups that you have because injuries are not a matter of if, it's a matter of when along the offensive line. That's going to happen at some point in a 17-game NFL regular season. You're going to have injuries there. So you have the bodies. Can you step up now and have guys take hold of, of roles? You finally threw the pads on today, and we're going to talk to Ross Jackson uh, here in about... 32 and a half minutes or so. And we'll absolutely ask, hey, how the not just how the offensive line looked, but how these new guys that they added looked. Were there any takeaways that you saw from Ankrum, Davis, Brewer? Because that still is the most unsettled spot for the New Orleans Saints. And that's not breaking news. Like that shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. So I'm happy they added more guys. I think it should absolutely still be a target. Because you don't know what you're going to get from Trevor Penning. You don't know what you have at left guard. Cesar Ruiz hasn't really been all that impressive in his time at, at uh, in the black and gold. And you're counting on a first-round draft pick in Taliesin Fuanga. And look, yeah, sure, you think that's going to go great, but you also thought Trevor Penning was going to go great at left tackle as a, as a rookie. And it didn't. So take all the guys you can get. And maybe somebody who you weren't really expecting to show up and show out does. And you find something. Three new additions for the Saints on the offensive line. Chandler Brewer, Jermaine Ankrum, and Jesse Davis. They were all out there at practice. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.